Hey, this is Daryl Webster again, just wanting to introduce you to a new tool for OneNote. The new app for SharePoint Online called OneNote Setup Tool for Teachers creates a OneNote notebook that can be shared with the class and have students' notebooks within the notebook itself. There's space where the teacher can share course materials and other things with students and a collaboration space where students and teachers can get together on the same page. So you'll need SharePoint Online, which is free to all schools. The teacher will need full control on the SharePoint site where the class materials and the OneNote notebooks will be stored. And of course the students will need to have permissions to the site. They'll be invited as members so they can contribute to the site and the notebooks that will be stored there. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the SharePoint site for your classroom and we're going to invite the students. And if they're part of the SharePoint organization or site then we should be able to look up their name and get it from the drop down box. And we're just confirming that they are members of the site so they have edit permissions and we'll share. Another thing to note is making sure that you're using IE 10 or 11 or a modern version of either Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. We're going to go into site contents and add an app. This is where all the magic happens. The app takes care of creating the notebook, setting up all the permissions and um, sharing the content. I've installed the app earlier. It's quite simple to find. You just look for OneNote setup tool for teachers in the app store and you should be able to find that and trust the app. Now we're going to go to launching the app itself and going through this process of creating a notebook and adding students. So let's create the notebook. I'm going to imagine that I'm an English teacher today, so I'm going to create a notebook for my English class. And I've got these three sections that are going to be created. We'll have a closer look at those sections later, but right now we'll just add some students. So remember I added Sam as a member of the site earlier. Now I'm going to create a notebook for Sam. I'll also add two more sections that I think that students might find useful, perhaps a section for ideas and maybe a mind mapping. Remember these sections are going to appear for students notebooks so you're limited to your imagination or usefulness as to what you'd create. Now this gives us a preview of what the teacher's notebook would be and you could get a preview of the student's notebook. I'm just going to go ahead and create it. And shortly the notebook will be created and there you go, here's the link to be able to get to the notebook and if you click on the icon that says English at the top, then it will also launch the notebook within OneNote on your desktop. So as you can see the OneNote setup tool for teachers app for SharePoint makes it easy to create the notebook itself and we're going to get into some of the fun now of laying out what we want our notebook to look like. So here it is loading within OneNote and it'll just eventually give us a couple of pages to tell us how the notebook is organized and student notebooks, a content library and collaboration space, some OneNote basics and an FAQ on the OneNote class notebook. So we see the notebooks up at the top, we see one for Sam created too and here's some tips about how you can use it. I think one of the things that students and teachers will find quite useful is the search functionality of OneNote. So being able to get into the notebook and find out what was that homework I was doing or what were the ideas that we discussed within class the other day and because it's all free form within OneNote you don't have to know how to create a page and how to create a wiki and how to link various things. So we're in our collaboration space now this is somewhere where both students and teachers can add content and I'm going to create a tab for the class or classes that I run with in English. Just popping in the date so that's an agenda for today um, just a few things that we're going to cover, perhaps some homework. Got that book report that we've got to discuss. Um, the short story that we're going to read at the beginning of class, the birds here, that's a good short one. Uh, we'll discuss some of the things about the birds and some of the reactions that people have. And we'll go from there. So if you can imagine using that section as a whiteboard, then perhaps we could write up some of the ideas and reactions that the students have to the story. So now we're into our content section, and that's where a teacher can add content, lay out various things like handouts, homework and resources, and students can't edit what's in there. So we've got a list here of the homework and some of the things that your book report must include, and an example of a book report on Lord of the Flies. An advantage of OneNote, again, is I don't have to know HTML programming, I can just drop in a link to this freeform page and students can link to resources that they might need. So the teacher can see that Sam's got a few ideas about the book report he might do. 
Divergent, Hunger Games, and the teacher realizes that oh, I've got to invite some more students to my class. So firstly I'm ensuring that they've been invited to the class site itself, picking them out from members of the whole SharePoint collection, making sure that they're a member, I just untick the uh, email invite. Now the classroom site is shared with Alicia, I'm going to invite her to the OneNote notebook as well. So running that tool again from the left hand side, we just add new students this time adding them to the English notebook because I might have multiple notebooks in this site class and here I can type her name or I can add multiple names with a semicolon so if you want to drop in bulk names and bulk people for the uh, invitation to the class and create their notebooks same process now that we've created the notebook in the SharePoint class site we're going to synchronize it with the OneNote client it shouldn't take too long for the notebook to appear as another section or tab up there at the top. There we go. And now we can go in and see the rest of the notebook fill out with the default sections. Now if you can imagine that we've added quite a number of students, maybe a class is uh, 20 or 30 or maybe you're making the notebook for your whole year, that top row could get quite large and navigating all the notebooks could become difficult. So I'm using the full screen view and that allows me to collapse the notebooks and see them just in a, a long list there um, in the middle. So it's quite easy for me to get into a student's notebook, flip between notebooks without having to um, navigate the sections at the top of the notebook. It's one advantage of using that full screen view. Now I'm going to remove that default welcome page and add a new welcome page that would be more useful to my class and add some perhaps navigation things within there to get around the, the notebook itself. One thing I can do is add links to sections or pages. So I'm going to grab a link from one of the students notebooks or sections and I'll just paste it in as a link within the list on the welcome page. And that means it's easier for that student to get into the notebook or section of the OneNote notebook that they use. And with that done, all the visitor needs to do is click on the link and they'll go to that section of the notebook if they have permission to see it. So here we are in Alicia's notebook, and we can go into Sam's too. And that's the great thing about OneNote is you can link to a section or a paragraph or a page within a notebook. So I've done just that. I've linked to sections here and I've got just a, a link to the handout, the resources and the homework page. Makes it easy at a glance for the student who's visiting this page to just get straight to the content that they're interested in. So adding new sections to that homework page is, is quite easy. Um, I prefer to add these sections to the top of the page because if you're viewing this from within the web browser it's always going to go to the page at the top of a section. So it's a good idea to hover over a page till you get that little insert button and then you can add your page to the top of the section. Here I've added a new page for the next assignments, or you might want to start off naming that page using the date and the topic as well. So I hope you found that demo of the OneNote setup tool for teachers SharePoint app useful and a few tips for creating your class notebook. This freeform tool is really easy to use, so enjoy and thanks for watching.